Um, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Say, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has and made. And I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will enter, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. And I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. For he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. And I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. And I will rejoice for he has made me glad. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. And I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will enter, I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. And I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. And I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad, he has made me glad, and I will rejoice for he has made me glad. And praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, let us just praise the Lord in the sanctuary. Let us praise the Lord in the sanctuary. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we shall rejoice and be glad in it. We certainly do want to thank and praise the Lord for all of you that have come out today and those that are listening to us um, via the Facebook Live. We certainly do thank and praise God for each and every one of you that have made their way into the sanctuary. This is the sanctuary uh, physical, and you are all in the sanctuary uh, vertical. Uh, Virtual, thank you. I, I got to get my words right. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Too many V's. So we thank, it, we thank the Lord for how he is good to each and every one of us. Isn't the Lord good? Yeah, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. 
for protecting us from danger seen and unseen. We certainly do want to thank and praise for Brother Leroy and Sister Chris, uh, Chris being in our midst. Amen. Thank God for each and every one of you that have braved their way out to the house. And in our days, you got to brave your way <laughs> to the house of the Lord. So we thank God for our First Lady, Lady Tracy Quinn. We give God honor and praise for her. Thank God for Mother Louise. We thank God for our media team. We thank God even for our ushers and our praise and our worship team. Amen. Thank God for all of our ministers and uh, uh, in their absence. And we thank God for even our deacons. We praise God uh, for them. They, I could have some dickens, but I got deacons. Amen. We thank God. We thank God for them. Amen. As we uh, get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, uh, before I forget, there won't be a Bible study this Wednesday due to the Thanksgiving uh, holiday. Amen. Thank you, Lord, on Thursday. Uh, I normally um, cancel it out on Wednesday to give people opportunity to prepare for Wednesday. But uh, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't read your Bible. That didn't mean that you shouldn't study God's word. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I tell, uh, I tell people there's never a time to sin, and there's always time for the Lord. Amen? Hallelujah. So let us, let us get ourselves together. And also, too, let us uh, remember that uh, we're, we're packing, and um, we're going to be moving at the end of December. And um, we had a, a great packing party on uh, yesterday. And I want to thank God for all those that came out to help to pack uh, up the kitchen. Amen. And so uh, we do need one more packing party. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And then we're going to need a moving party. But we need one more packing party on this, on this coming Saturday at 10 a.m. Uh, to help completion with uh, the packing. And um, we certainly do thank God for all of your help and support. And saying that as well, you know, uh, when we come to our tithes and our giving and our offering, um, though we uh, know that some people aren't uh, uh, coming out to the physical church because of the pandemic that's going on, but still remember your financial obligations, amen, your tithes and your offering. You don't want to rob God, and you know you want to support your local assembly, and those that um, uh, can go online and give, remember that we have established tithely. Amen. So you can uh, go to Tithely and then look up Christian Ministries and um, go through the, fo the following steps to be able to give. Also, too, we have a drop box. You can uh, drop your tithes and your offering into our drop box, and it's secure, it's safe, and we will surely receive it. Amen? Amen. And then, you know, you can send your tithes and your offering uh, by way of another fellow member. Uh, if you trust them, <laughs> thank you, Lord. Just say, hey, will you drop this off at Christian Ministries? Amen. And somebody, uh, I'm sure that they will. So we certainly do thank God. Thank God. Thank God for each and every one of you. And we praise God for his word. And um, as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, there was something um, that the Lord dropped in my mind even on this morning. Um, as I was in my office preparing for today, um, the Lord wanted me to encourage people to pray. Amen. Uh, oftentimes we don't hear that uh, as much as we need to, uh, that we should always pray. We should always pray and seek God and begin to pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for your others. Uh, pray and pray for your circumstances and your situation. And pray for the world. Amen? And there's many other things to pray for. Pray for deliverance and help. Um, we neglect a part of our salvation, a part of our deliverance when we don't pray. Amen? And I don't believe that the Lord would have me to say that if it wasn't needful. Amen? So he wants us to remind us to pray, to seek, and to ask. Um, oftentimes, uh, where I work, you know, I get referrals, I get assessments in, um, and that means that there's work for me to go out to, to see the people uh, when I get the referral, when I get the assessments. And the highlight of my day 
is when I go to the computer to pull up referrals and I don't see any. <laughs> I don't see, I don't have none in the inbox. Then I'm happy. I'm saying, oh, man, this is going to be a great day. Thank you, Lord. But, but the Lord said, that ain't, that ain't the highlight of his day. Amen. The highlight of the Lord's day is when he go to his inbox and he do the drop down and see all the referrals and all the requests. Now that makes the Lord happy. The Lord said, oh, boy, it's going to be a good day. Amen. So put in your requests. Then he said that make your requests known unto the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So make your requests known unto him. Ain't you glad God ain't like me? <laughs> hey, glory. Oh, my God. I thank God. Hallelujah. That he wants your request. Amen. So as we have said that, um, we want to give you an opportunity to stand at this time and uh, let your requests be made known. Uh, go ahead, brother. Yes, amen. He says he wants prayer to be a better father and a better uh, minister unto the Lord, to be able to walk out his ministry. Amen. Uh, Deacon Fields. Right. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Amen. Amen. What he said is true. That, you know, we go through a lot. You know what I mean? And what makes the difference is having a relationship with the Lord. What makes the difference is being filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, Sister uh, Hall, and then we want to go to Sister Cora. Yes. Yes, amen. She said, pray for Pastor Doug, pray for past Sister Priscilla and uh, people everywhere. Amen. Sister Cora, praise the Lord. Mm. Yes. <laughs> right. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Rely. Yes. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God one more praise. Amen. Thank you. I know the Lord get tired of me too. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And we want to, as uh, she had already mentioned, that we had another Zoom meeting um, of encouragement with the saints on Thursday. I'd sent out uh, the texts to various people. Uh, so uh, let us uh, join in. The, the challenge is to invite five people, to invite five uh, members to come up on the Zoom uh, wherein we hear an encouraging word and then we also pray. We pray uh, in, that, in those particular meetings for conditions and situations. Uh, and we hear testimonies of encouragement and strength. So we do magnify the name of the Lord. And it works. It works. So get on the Zoom meeting. We'll have another one. Um, uh, I think it would be in uh, December. Um, the first week, the first Thursday in December because we have to miss this Thursday because of uh, the holidays. Amen? Amen. So uh, remember uh, Sister Sharice in your prayers. Remember Sister Latanya and uh, uh, Elder Davis 
uh, Grady Davis. Let us remember them as well. Amen? Hallelujah. Let the church stand. The saints don't stop praying, for the Lord is nigh. Saints don't stop praying, he'll hear your cry. For the Lord has promised, and his word is true. Just keep on praying. He'll answer you. Saints, don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. The Lord is nigh. Saints, don't stop praying. Yes, Lord. He'll hear your cry. For the Lord has promised. And his word is true. One more time. Praying. Hey. He'll answer you. Saints, don't stop praying. Yes. Our people in the virtual, put your request known in the, in, in, the, in the answer box. In the comment section. Promise. Yes, Lord. Put your request in the comment section. Just keep on praying. Saints, don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. The Lord is nigh thee. He's even in thy mouth. Praying. Don't stop praying. The Lord will hear your humble cry. Oh, and his word is true. His word is true. Don't pray. Just keep on praying. Just keep on praying. Oh, he'll answer you. Let every heart pray. Gracious Father, in the mighty and precious name of Jesus, as we come boldly to the throne of grace, we say thank you, Lord, for your mercy, your love, and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning and starting us on our way. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to allow us to bring our petitions unto you to make you unknown unto you our requests. Lord, we pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that you move by your power, move by your grace. Lord, we trust in you. Our faith is in you, Lord. Hallelujah, that you can do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we're able to ask or think. Uh, when we can't find no other, hallelujah, our confidence is in you. Hallelujah, when we look high and low, our trust is in you. And now, Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you bless each and every request. Hallelujah. Remember those that are sick and afflicted. Remember those that want to know you to walk in their ministries. Remember those that are bereaving and going through, Lord, that have lost loved ones. And even in this hour, Lord, hallelujah, they're trying to make it to their families. Lord, we pray that you comfort them right now. And those that may be over the highways and the byways, we ask you, Lord, that you put a hedge of protection about them in the name of Jesus. Those that have contracted COVID, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you send forth healing, that you send forth deliverance, Lord. Hallelujah. Not only protect us from receiving it, hallelujah, but if we have received it, Lord, we ask you to rebuke the death, rebuke the devourer in the name of Jesus. Bless us with a heart of thanksgiving. Bless us with a heart of giving. And Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you use us in a mighty way. Hallelujah, Lord, send forth your word, send forth your song, send forth your service unto the Lord. And Lord, we praise you and we magnify you. Hallelujah, bless our vision, bless our purpose. Hallelujah, bless our praise and our worship. And now, Lord, we thank you for hearing our humble cry. Hallelujah, you told us to seek, you told us to ask, you told us to knock. And it shall be. And Lord, we count it done in Jesus' precious and mighty name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. As you remain standing, hallelujah, we're going to ask Mother Louise if she would come up and give our scripture reading. Let us receive her with a hearty amen. I was about to say, preach the word. Ha, 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 ha.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. I'm going to read from Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Yes, Lord. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Yes, Lord. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. Yes. For thou art with me. Yes, Lord. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yes, Lord. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemy. Yes, Lord. Thou anointest my head yes, with oil. My cup runneth over. Yes, Lord. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank God. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want for anything. In Jesus, I have everything that I need. I have everything that God desires for me to have. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank you for being our shepherd, Father. We thank you for coming to see about us, Father. We thank you that we can delight ourselves in you, Father. And Lord, we just thank you for being a friend today. Hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. And we thank you for being a friend. Who am I that you are mindful of me, that you hear me when I call? And is it true that you are thinking of me, how you love me? It's amazing. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. Say, I am a friend. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God, he calls me friend. Say, who am I, who am I that you are mindful of me? That you love me, that you love me. When I call, when I call. And is it true, is it true that you are thinking of me? That you love, that you love me. It's amazing, it's amazing. Say I am a friend, I am a friend of God. Say I am a friend, I am a friend of God. I am a friend, I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. I am a friend of God. He calls me friend. God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called me friend. Say, God. God Almighty, Lord, yeah, Lord of glory, you have called me friend. Say, God Almighty, God Almighty, Lord of glory, you have called me me friend say i am a friend i am a friend of god i am a friend of god i am a friend of god he calls me friend say i am a friend 
friend of I am a friend of God I am a friend of God I am a friend of God He calls me friend Hallelujah We thank you Father just for humbling yourself enough to call us friend. We don't take it lightly. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you that you have called us in a lifestyle of holiness, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Holiness is what you require from us, Father. And we thank you for that, Father. Just setting the bar so we can live up to your expectations, Father. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Holiness, holiness is what I long for. And holiness is what I need. Holiness, holiness is what you want from me. Say holiness, holiness, holiness is what I long for, and holiness is what I need. We gotta be holy, holiness, holiness is what you want from me. So take my heart, take my heart and mold it. Take my mind, transform it, transform it. And take my will, conform it, conform it. Holiness 
It's what I need. Hey. Holiness, holiness is what you want from me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In your presence. In your presence. In your presence. Take my mind. Take my mind, oh God. And mold it. Hallelujah. Take my mind. Just build an altar. Build an altar and offer yourself as a sacrifice. Take my will. Lord, take my will. Transform it. Yes, Lord. To yours. To yours. Oh, Lord. Take my mind. Lord, you take my mind. And mold it. As I offer myself as a living sacrifice. Take unto you. my will, Lord, in me, O oh God. Conform it, yes, Lord, to yours, to yours, oh Lord. As a deer panted back to the water brook, I need you, Lord. And more Lord, we're seeking your Take face. My Give God the praise. Holiness, holiness is what I long for. Yes, Lord. Holiness is what I need. Hey. Holiness, holiness is what you want from me. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. I want you to turn with me in the scriptures. Thank you, Lord. Uh, by way of our praise and our worship, and this particular scripture is coming out of the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter number six, and this is, goes in line with our our Sunday school, not our Sunday school, our Wednesday Bible study as we talk on what God requires and what God wants from us. And just looking at that uh, verse in chapter number six of Deuteronomy and verse number four, it says, Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Notice what it says. With what? All thine heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy might. God wants all of you. Come on, give the Lord a praise. He wants your heart. He wants your soul, and he wants your might. And notice the next verse, and he says, And these words shall be where? And verse number uh, six, it says, And these words shall be where? And these words which I command thee this day shall. Amen. And these words which I command thee this day shall be where? In thine heart. God wants that in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah, the love of God. Holiness is what he desires. Holiness is what he calls for. And he wants that from you. Amen? And in order to give it to him, you must give him all of your heart, all of your soul, and all of your might. And you've got to allow his commands to be in your heart. He said, for I am holy, be ye holy. Amen? Come on and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I'm excited about the Lord. I'm excited about 
what he's doing for his people. Amen. He said, if my people that would what? Called by my name, if they would just humble themselves and pray, if they would seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, he said, then will I hear from heaven. I'll forgive their sins and I'll heal their land. I, I, I need a healing from the Lord. I, I need some deliverance from the Lord. I want to be in his presence. I want the joy of the Lord to be my strength. Do you want the joy of the Lord to be your strength? Hallelujah. Call on the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous runneth in and they are safe. Amen. As we get ready to change the order of our service, we certainly do thank and praise the Lord for his great mercy and his love that he has shown toward us. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody love you like Jesus. Can't nobody love you like the Lord. Just come on and give him one more praise. <laughs> Hallelujah, my Lord. We're in the house of praise. The Bible says, oh, give thanks. Uh, oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. As our first word was brought by uh, Mother Louise Davis on today, amen, the Lord is our shepherd, uh, and we shall not want. He does make us to lie down in green pastures, doesn't he? Doesn't he restore our soul? Doesn't he lead us huh, in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake? And yea, though we walk, hallelujah, through those valleys of the shadow of death, we shall not fear any evil. Because we know the last part of that verse says that uh, that, that particular chapter, it says that his goodness and mercy, it does what? follows us all the days of our life and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord for how long forever are you determined on today hallelujah come hell or high water we're determined hallelujah to walk with Jesus we're determined to walk with the Lord amen Paul said it this wise he said I won't let nothing separate me uh, from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus. Don't let nobody separate you. Let, don't let no situation separate you. Don't let nobody come in between you and the Lord. Uh, come on and give him a praise. Hallelujah. You got to declare these things in your own heart. Hallelujah. Glory. Make your, make your request known unto the Lord. That I won't let nothing separate me. Hallelujah. From your love. Thank you, Lord. Not famine. Not persecution. Not nakedness, nor sword, nor peril. Hallelujah. Nay, in all these things. I like it when he said that. He said, nay, in all these things, we are what? More than conquerors. Amen. Through him that loves us. So as we get ready to change the order of our service, amen, it's blessing time. Amen, it's blessing time. We thank God for our praise and our worship leaders uh, on today. Thank you, Lord. But it's blessing time. And the Bible tells us that it's more blessed to give the, uh, than to receive. Amen. And as my uh, wife has my tithes and my offerings uh, prepared to give, she'll put them in the, in the box. Amen. In the basket so that they can be meat in the Lord's house. God, God is doing some great things. Tell your neighbor, God is doing some great things. Amen. And you've got to honor God with your substance. Thank you, Lord. And it's a joy to give unto the Lord. And we want to ask the church to stand as we go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Lord. We thank God for Deacon Mitchell being in our, in our presence on today. Amen. We thank God for him. And as it is in these times, uh, in fields will come around um, and you can drop your offering in the basket as he comes to you. You don't come to him. Uh, just so that we can maintain our distance and, and be in parameters and, and, and things such as that. But we believe God, don't we? Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're a friend of God, ain't we? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And it's an honor for God to call us friend. Thank you, Jesus. Even, even when, uh, when they were singing that song, I was thinking about Judas Iscariot. And uh, Jesus even called him a friend. He said, friend, betrayest thou me with a kiss? Amen. Even though Judas was doing his dirty deed. Amen. 
Jesus still looked on him as a friend. How much more us, amen, that are striving to do what the Lord would have us to do. Amen? Hallelujah. So never count yourself out. Don't count yourself down. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, we certainly do thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to sow seed into the kingdom. We thank you, Lord, that you would bless those that are giving and those that are receiving a hundred uh, fold in the name of Jesus. We ask you, Lord, that you continue to show forth your grace and your mercy and your love and your kindness. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Yes. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Oh, yes. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Oh. Come. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on and sing it with me. Hallelujah. It's good to rejoice in the Lord. Come, Come on, on and bless your hands with me. Come on. Come on and clap your hands with me. Everybody. Come on and clap your hands with me. Oh, yes. Come, Come on, on and, and clap your hands with me. Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. Come on and do your dance with me. Come on, just do your dance. Come on and do your dance with me. Come on and rejoice in the Come Lord. Come on and do your dance with me. Hey. Come on and, and do your dance with me. Everybody say hallelujah. You got to give them a hallelujah anyhow. Hallelujah. A hallelujah anyhow praise. Hallelujah. It may not be going well. Hallelujah. But it's hallelujah anyhow. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. Clap your hands if you love him. Clap your hands if you love Jesus. I really love him. Say, I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. We will bless the Lord. I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. At all times. I really love my Jesus. I really love my Jesus. Say, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Come on, give him a praise. Hallelujah. One more time, say. Hallelujah. 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 Clap your hands all around the sanctuary. Hallelujah. I will bless the Lord. You will bless the Lord. Just declare it in the atmosphere. I'll bless him at all times. And his praises shall continually be in our mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. And the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. He said, oh, magnify. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name. Let us lift up the name of Jesus. Let us magnify the name of Jesus. There's no other name given unto heaven whereby men must be saved. I will bless his name. We will bless his name. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's deliverance in the name of Jesus. 
Yokes are destroyed in the name of Jesus. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. At the name of Jesus, every tongue shall confess. Things that are in heaven, things that are in earth, things that are beneath the earth. Yeah, at the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, he's Lord. Come on and give the Lord a praise if you believe it. Come on and magnify him if you believe it. If you believe it, shout amen. And if you believe it, give the God a praise. Yokes are destroyed because of the anointing. Yokes are destroyed when you call on that name. When you call on the name of Jesus, the devil trembles in fear. Oh, what's his name? What's his name? Jesus. Come on and give him one more praise. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I get happy when I call. Uh, when I call on his name. I get joy when I call. Uh, when I call his name. Uh, I get deliverance when I call. Uh, when I call his name. Uh, I get healing when we call. When we call on the name of Jesus. Come on, just give him one more praise. Hallelujah. I feel like the Lord wants us to praise him. Hallelujah. I feel like the Lord wants us to praise him. Hallelujah. My God. It's, it's, you get joy when you praise the Lord. You get strength when you praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has brought each and every one of us here a mighty long way. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know, we got a, we got a long way to go, don't we? Thank you, Lord. But he's brought us a mighty long way. Thank you, Jesus. A lot of us can say here today that we're not what we used to be. Hallelujah. We're not where we used to be. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't look like what I've been through. You don't look like what you've been through. Amen. Hallelujah. And if we were to think about it, we got a testimony every day. Hallelujah. God is good. Isn't God good? My God, because people are dying all around us. Amen. People are dying all around us. But somebody say, but God. Uh, somebody say, but God. Hallelujah. If it had not been uh, for the Lord on our side. Thank you, Lord. There's no telling where we would be. Thank you, Lord. And you know those that, uh, that have died and gone on, we pray that the Lord will keep them and comfort them. Thank you, Lord. But we thank God and we praise God that we're still in the land of the living. Amen. Hey, hallelujah. My God. We got, we got a mind to come to the household of faith. We got a mind to worship the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God is truly good and his mercy endureth forever. And we certainly do praise God um, uh, for the protocols here. Um, we get the church sanitized every two weeks. Amen. We got a company that comes in um, and, and does it. And we thank God for them. And we thank God for the saints of God that uh, adhere to the protocols of, of masking and, and um, uh, staying away if they're sick or anything like that. Letting the pastor know so we can pray uh, uh, for you and with you. Amen. Um, it takes a village, doesn't it? Amen. It takes cooperation, doesn't it? Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. It takes the love of God, doesn't it? Thank you, Jesus. And we certainly do praise God. Um, just uh, another announcement. Uh, I know that we said that there's no Bible study on Wednesday. Um, but this uh, coming uh, Sunday, amen, is our global mission day. Uh, so when you... Uh, come to church this this coming Sunday, Amen. We want you to um, uh, wear your African garments, Amen. If you got uh, some kuta kente cloth, and you know, we want you to put that on. Like a, if you got you a darshiki, you know, I got me a couple of them. Thank you, Lord. And you know, sometimes I don't get an opportunity to wear them, you know. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wear my little darshiki, Amen. So we want you to. 
uh, come um, in honor and respect of global missions. Amen. Sister Louise will be in charge, and she'll give us some words of encouragement. Amen. Thank you, Lord, about global missions and, um, and about uh, being mindful of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ to everybody. Am I right? Uh, in my, I don't, this ain't part of my lesson today, but in my study this week, and then I, um, you know, I was listening to my uh, Facebook preachers, and they were confirming it, um, that, that we all have a responsibility uh, to share Jesus with others. Amen? And that responsibility goes beyond just uh, his great commission. But if we want to see people truly get help, if we want to see people truly come out of what they're going through, we've got to tell them about Jesus. Amen? Thank you, Lord. He, the government can't help you. You know, they can only go so far. Uh, but, but Jesus... Amen. He's the ultimate help, isn't he? <laughs> There's no other greater help that we know. Am I right? Hallelujah. By God. Hallelujah. And we need to tell people about Jesus. And, and, you know, the Bible tells us that in the last days, which we are in, God is still saving because he said, I'm going to pour out my spirit. Amen. My anointing upon all flesh. So, so we can still look for people to get saved. We can still look for people to get delivered. Amen? But we've got to allow our light to shine before men that they may see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. Amen? Hallelujah. And then we pray that they'll line up with Acts 2 and 4 and line up with Acts in 2 and 38. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we praise God. We certainly praise God. Ah, my God. My God. I just want to praise him right now. Thank you, Lord. So we certainly do thank God for everybody that's here on today. And I don't want to prolong you uh, any longer than what we have. And we certainly do thank God. We want you to uh, turn with us to the book of uh, St. John. The book of St. John, very familiar passages of scripture, St. John uh, 3, and we're going to read verses 16 and 17. St. John chapter number 3, uh, verses 16 and 17. And we want to ask the church to stand in reverence to the word of God. And these scriptures and what we're about to read it comes in light of, of thanksgiving, a, a time that we all should be expressing and showing forth love. And uh, when I'm learning about love, love is a choice. Uh, it's a choice. I can choose uh, what to love and what to hate. And uh, as I get older, as I get older, um, can understand why um, th there were arranged marriages at one time. And <laughs> I can understand why, and as I get older, why they are arranged marriages. Because sometimes people and your children choose the wrong people to love. And as guardians and as parents, uh, I know what I'm saying to you doesn't fit well in this culture, but uh, the original culture, the uh, arrangements of marriage were arranged by the parents, and they chose uh, their uh, children's mates uh, based on uh, their ability to provide, their ability to take care of, their ability to assist, and in and because of that, the child chose to love that individual. And if the parents did a good job, uh, the children had made a right choice. Amen? And life would be much better. Because sometimes you can choose to love somebody that ain't no good for you. Amen? And that bring all kind of hell to your life. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you. I'm preaching already. 
<laughs> Thank you, Jesus. As we look to the scriptures, as we look to the Lord, coming out of St. John, John chapter number 3 and verse 16. Let us read it together. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. We ask you to be seated in the presence of the Lord. And St. John 3 and 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Amen. And I want to just take for a thought on this afternoon, the world needs love. The world needs love. Oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, as we get ready, Lord, to depart this great word on today, Lord, I need your help. We need your help. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you send forth an anointing that makes preaching easy. And Lord, as we decrease, that thou mayest increase. Grant he, the hearers, hears to hear the engrafted word of God to the saving of the soul. And Father, we thank you and praise you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Our scripture on today is coming out of that very familiar, familiar book and familiar scripture, John 3.16. For God so loved the world, God loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that verse 17, it says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him, through Jesus, might be saved. Might be saved with no questions asked. No questions asked. Might be saved. The first mission of Jesus, his first appearing, was not to condemn us uh, because we were already condemned because we were already dead in trespasses and sin. So Jesus saves us with no questions asked. No questions asked. It's like signing up for a life insurance policy without any preconditions, without any preconditions to your answers. That uh, no matter what you've done, no matter what the condition is, that you won't be disqualified. You won't be disqualified. Hallelujah. Because the Bible says in that John 3.16, it says, for God so. Amen. For God so. And you've really got to understand the 15th verse that is there at the end of that verse. It says that, God had promised us everlasting life, everlasting life. Because God has promised us everlasting life, verse 16 comes into play. For God so loved us. And that word so there is very pivotal in our deliverance and how God loved us. In Literally, it would mean that God loved us so much. He loved us so much. He loved us so much. In spite of what we've done, in spite of what we look like, in spite of where we've come from, God loves us so much. 
hallelujah, that uh, he gave. He gave who? His last. He gave his one and only. I, I myself have a multitude of children, and I, in my mind, it's uh, uncomprehensible for me to give even one of them up. But God gave his last, his only begotten son uh, for you and I, that, that, that we would be saved, that whosoever would believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And when we begin to uh, look at this particular scripture and begin to uh, pull out what is in there for us, we have to understand that that God has three types of spiritual love that is expressed in the Bible. There are three types of spiritual love that is expressed in the Bible. That there are three types of spiritual love that is expressed in the Bible. And the first is philos. That is a type of love. And then there's eros. And then there's... Uh, agape love and those three types of love are spiritual love that is found in the bible and you as you are a student of the word of god you will see that these three expressions of love are found in the scriptures and philos is a uh, mental love found in friendships as we were singing our song that uh, I am a friend of God and God has called me friend. We're talking about philos. And that is a friendship type of love, family ties, a brotherly love of humanity that shows forth compassion towards others. It's a love that has compassion towards others. When Jesus saw the multitude after they had followed him for days and the Bible says he looked upon them and had compassion upon them and he made them sit in tribes and he then called for a young man's lunch and performed a miracle with the loaves of bread and the fishes and fed everybody there. That's what compassion is. You, you see somebody in need and you do what's necessary to alleviate their need. You do what's necessary to help them in their circumstance. And that's what philos is. And it also contains a moral type of social obligation towards uh, your brother or your sister, regardless of their race, regardless of their age, regardless of their sex, regardless of their creed. And Jesus brought that out and when he taught in them about the good Samaritan how the good Samaritan looked beyond the fact that the Jews hated the Samaritans and he saw an individual in need and y'all know that story that that he helped the individual took him and put him on his beast and took him to the end and and gave the inn worker uh the money to take care of the individual and he says that if if there's anything that is old when i return to check on them put it on my account and that's what philos is, this love that we're talking about. It's an obligation. That's why the Bible says, let brotherly love continue. That's what the scripture means when it says that it tells us in the book of Psalms how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. That's that philos in operation. That's that brotherly love in operation. And, and it falls in line with that second greatest commandment that Jesus was asked when he dealt with the lawyers. What is the first? And Jesus said the first is to love God. And he said the second is like unto it love thy neighbor as thyself and that is the great expression of philos or that brotherly type of love and the second type of love that that the bible speaks about that's spiritual is that eros 
person that eros is a physical romantic type of love that is displayed only in the institution of marriage. It's that type of love that, that a husband has toward his wife and that a wife has toward her husband. And, and this type of love is used, uh, as the Bible tells us, used for uh, uh, emotional and spiritual bonding. When when a husband and wife come together and they truly love one another, there's a spiritual bonding and a, an emotional help and emotional healing. That's what Eros does. It, it, it looks beyond all their faults. It looks beyond all their faults and it only sees a need, a need to help, a need to, to, to survive, a, a need to Give all that you got so that you can protect the one that you love. That, that it, it's a sacrificial love where a husband uh, gives himself and loves uh, the wife as Christ loves the church. Uh, it's that kind of love. And if, if you were to get super spiritual, that's the kind of love Jesus has for us. It's an eros type of love where and he sacrifices and he heals us and he delivers us and he gives us what we need and in the time of trouble it's that type of love where Jesus provides a, a husband ought to provide for his wife a husband ought to provide for his family that's Eros when when a husband gets up in the morning and doesn't want to go to work but realizes that they got obligations that he realizes that I got to go and help my wife and my children that's Eros Eros, uh, my God, I feel like preaching up in here. That's Eros in, uh, in working order. And, and when the wife takes care of the home and makes sure the husband has what they need and the children have what they need, that's Eros in, in operation. It's a providing type of love. It's a love that provides for healing. It's a, a love that provides for aiding, uh, helping of one another. It's a love that's also used for reproduction. My God, to reproduce. Uh, my God, to reproduce. My God. And that goes back to what I said about that spiritual type of eros that we have for Jesus. That, that we ought to be reproduced. We ought to reproduce other Jesuses. That's what the scripture says. Go out and make disciples. Make people just like you. Hallelujah. This is that type of love. If you love the Lord, you've got to be able to reproduce. Uh, come on and clap your hands and give God a praise. Uh, that's that Eros type of love. And, and last but not least, we, the Bible tells us of that agape love. And that agape love is a spiritual type of love in and of itself. And that agape love, it simply means that it is a selfless, uh, uh, sacrificial, unconditional type of love. And that's what kind of love that God had toward us when he wrote this particular scripture and he told the uh, apostle John to write it that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish uh, but have that eternal life and, and God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but sent him to save the world that the world might have life and this agape type of love is a kind of love that, that we all need because it's a selfish, uh, uh, sacrificial, uh, and unconditional type of love. And this ha agape love is literally the highest order of those three types of love. Uh, my God, you can't get no higher than agape love. We associate that kind of love with God. We associate that kind of love with Jesus Christ uh, our Lord and Savior because God uh, he expressed that kind of love toward us uh, the Bible says that while we were yet in
in our trespasses and sin. Now, Christ died for the ungodly. That, that God lived beyond all of our faults uh, and he saw our need. And, and this type of love, this type of love is a sacrificial type of love. This type of love is a selfless love. That, that when God wrote in the word that he would give his only begotten son. He wasn't thinking about himself, but he was literally thinking about you. He knew that what you needed was somebody to help you in your time of trouble. He looked at you and saw somebody that was low down, saw somebody that was wretched, saw somebody that was dead in their trespasses and sin, but God looked beyond all of that and said I'm going to send my only begotten son that who would be wounded for your transgressions that would be bruised for your iniquities and that the chastisement of his peace would be laid upon you and upon him and by his stripes uh, you would be healed uh, you would be delivered that uh, you would be set free that uh, you would be a victor and no longer a victim that uh, you would have power that you would have deliverance that you would be strong and mighty oh my god and the bible says that your god it pleased him to bruise jesus that 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 it pleased god to see him on that cross and to see him go through what he went through because he looked and saw you coming into glory he looked and saw you receiving power by God, I feel the Holy Ghost up in here. He looked and saw you, Ekabosha, being healed of your oppression, being healed of your depression, being delivered from the hand of the enemy. And that's love. You ought to clap your hands and thank God for that agape love, that, that God was selfish, that he was not selfish, that he sacrificed, that he laid down his life he laid down his life for you and I when did he do it when we were yet in our trespasses and sin Christ he died for the ungodly he died for you he rose up on the third day for you oh my God he went and said if you destroy this body I'll raise it up in three days because in three days he saw you would have the victory he saw in three days you would have power that you would have an anointing that it come that you would have some joy that would be unspeakable and full of glory come on and clap your hands and give your God a praise oh my God I feel him I feel the Lord in this place what the world needs now is the love of God what the Lord needs now is Jesus he is the alpha he's the omega he's the beginning and the end you need Jesus we've got to tell people that they need Jesus we've got to let people know that though you were dead there is life in Jesus though you may be down if you put your trust in Jesus not only some things but everything I said everything everything is going to be alright we live in a world that needs to know that there is a savior then his name is Jesus he's a friend that's thinking closer than any brother he's a friend that loveth at all times you see sometimes brothers sometimes sisters I fall out of rank 
church, sometimes I fall short of the glory of God. But there is a love that will pick you up. There is a love that will reach down to the lowest valley. That will go through the highest mountain and grip you where you are and bring you back into his good graces and bring you back out of the pit of hell. Come on and clap your hands and give God some praise. Oh, my friend, you've got to tell him. Tell him that there is a love that suffereth long. Tell them that there is a love that is kind. That envy is not, that vaunt is not itself, uh, that is not puffed up. Tell them there is a love that does not behave itself unseemly. Tell them that there is a love that is full of truth, that is full of grace, that is full of mercy. And when we have gone astray, there is a love that will reach and grab us where we are. Oh, you ought to praise him. You ought to give God some glory. You ought to thank God that when we were dead, he sent us a love. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. The Bible says, now abideth faith, hope, and charity. But the greatest. Somebody say greater. Uh, somebody say greater. Jesus is greater than all of my faults. Jesus is greater than all of your faults. Jesus is greater than all of your needs. Jesus is greater than all your temptations. Jesus is greater than all of your trials. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Somebody give God a praise. Shandalabasha, the greatest of all these three is charity, is love. Hallelujah, that never fails. Uh, I said Jesus never fails. I said Jesus never fails. Heaven and earth are going to pass away, but Jesus will never fail. Oh, my God. The world needs this kind of love. Uh, and this love is only found in Jesus. <laughs> oh my God, aren't you glad that you can tap into this love? Aren't you glad that you know where to go get that kind of love? Aren't you glad that you can call on him and feel the love of God that passes all understanding? Thank God for the love. Shama. Paul, he was so confounded. He said, what manner of love is this? <laughs> What manner of love is this that a man would lay down his life for his friend? Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. 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 We need Jesus. Amen. The world needs Jesus. Uh, the world don't need another policy. And the world don't need another, uh, uh, another stimulus package. It'd be good to have one, though. <laughs> hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But the, what the world needs is love. And that means they need Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just give me Jesus. Hallelujah. When I was getting married, there was a song that was out that the saints were singing. And I was singing it one day. And they knew I was engaged. And the song said something about, um, I don't want nobody but Jesus. And the brother said, well, why are you getting married then? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But we need Jesus. Don't we need Jesus? Hallelujah. We need the love of Jesus. That looks beyond all of our faults. Ah, and sees our need. Hallelujah. So, brothers and sisters, my God, let us.
cling unto the Lord. Amen. Let us draw nearer and closer unto him. Amen. We need him, don't we? Hallelujah. We need the love of Jesus. We need the love that is in Jesus Christ. We need that love that suffers long, that, that, that envy is not, that is not puffed up, that thinketh no evil. We need that kind of love. Hallelujah. Sometimes, I'm trying to close here. Sometimes uh, we go through stuff. The love of Jesus will help you believe all things. The love of Jesus will help you bear all things. The love of Jesus will help you endure all things. Hallelujah. Don't we need to endure some stuff right now? Don't we need to believe God right now? Don't we need to trust in the Lord right now? Hey, I know some of you got questions and some of you ask, Lord, why? But that love of Jesus will wrap his arms around you and keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind stayed on him. I need a friend that will love me at all times and his name is Jesus. You need a friend that will love you at all times. And his name is Jesus. Uh, in my conclusion here, hallelujah, you know, sometimes we act up. Uh, I know I ain't the only one that act up. Hallelujah, sometimes, hallelujah, we go through some stuff, my God, and we, we walk around with our heads hung low sometimes. Hallelujah, sometimes we, when you see us, we putting on a, a front. <laughs> Come on here, somebody. Hallelujah, we, we put our game face on. Hallelujah, but way in the midnight hour, we can call on the name of the Lord. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy will come in the morning. Joy will come in the morning if you put your trust in Jesus. Not just some things, but everything is going to be all right. You want to give the Lord a praise. You ought to give the Lord a praise. Thank God for the love. Thank God for the peace. Thank God for the joy. Thank God for the power that's in Jesus. I need a love that will rock me at night. Hey, I need a love that will cause me to hold my peace. Uh, I need a love that'll pull me out of all of my constrictions, that'll pull me out of all my, del my dilemmas, then that love is in Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, thank you, Jesus. I think about all the places you can go and get help. Amen. You can go to the food bank. They can help you. You can go to the therapist. They can help you. Amen. You can go to mama and daddy. They can help you. And but unless they are pointing you to Jesus. Amen. That's the ultimate help. Amen. That's the ultimate peace. Am I right? That's the ultimate joy. Am I right? Hallelujah. I feel a whole nother sermon coming on. I ain't going to preach it. Huh? But, but God was in Christ. The love of God was in Christ. Reconciling the world back unto himself. Oh, that's love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now just think about it. Just think about it. If you had... An old broke down cat. No offense, Fields. His cat ain't his cat ain't broke down. Thank you, Lord. But you got you a cat that's all broke down and everybody looking at the cat, wondering why you keeping the cat alive. Amen. What's keeping that cat alive? Because you love that cat. You love that dog. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody else may have forgotten about it, gave up on it. Huh? That's the way it is with God with us. 
People look at you and say, you might as well go ahead and give up. You might as well head, go, go ahead and throw in the towel. Nobody hear you. Nobody calling, uh, uh, thinking about you. But you got to say, but God. But God. God loves me. God loves you. God cares about you. Hallelujah. The love of God. And that passes all understanding. Hallelujah. He'll keep your, your heart and mind. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes we get into relationships and people on the outside, they say, why are you with that ugly man? Why are you? Why you? Thank you, Lord. He only weighed 89 pounds and, you know, and, but you look at it and say, that's my man. Huh? That's, that's my man. Hallelujah. I love him. Amen. Hallelujah. Because they don't know huh, that, 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 that he loves you. That he cares about you. People may say, well, why are you walking with Jesus? Why are you walking with him? You say, the Lord loves me. The Lord cares about me. Hallelujah. And he'll never leave me nor forsake me. Amen. Now I'm about to get silly and foolish. That let me know when I'm done preaching. Thank you, Lord. Tyler Perry, uh, that, that one movie that he got out, say, why are you going to get rid of the, uh, the 80 and get you a what? A 20. <laughs> in other words why are you going to uh, turn away from God amen that's, that's able to do exceeding and abundantly and turn to the devil who wants to kill steal and to destroy uh, it's better to stick with God ain't it come on give God a praise don't let nothing separate you don't let nothing turn you around don't let nobody turn you around amen don't let nothing separate you from the love of God, which is where? Which is where? In Christ Jesus. Amen. Let the church stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You know, even if I were dying, and, you know, technically speaking, we all are, uh, even though we got eternal life abiding in us, but this earthly house, this earthly tabernacle is going to be destroyed one day. Amen. Hallelujah. But God, because of his love for us, he's already got us a prepared body. Amen. Uh, amen. Do y'all believe that? Hallelujah. No more aches, no more pain. And no more cabo Woo. Hallelujah. I just, I just felt it. Hallelujah. No more aches, no more heartache, no more pain. You know, with that new body, he's also going to give you a new mind. Hallelujah. A new mind so you don't remember anymore what you've been through. So that you'll be no, he'll wipe away all the tears. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. By God. Paul, he, he, in his going away sermon, he, he wrote his own eulogy. He didn't trust the mother apostles. Uh, no, I better not say that. But uh, he, he, he wrote his own eulogy. He said, I fought a good fight. I kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. And he said, not only for me, but for all those that what? Love his appearing. Uh, not only does the Lord love you, but you got to love him. Amen. Uh, come on, give God a praise. And come on, shout. Hallelujah. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for those that are here on today. Lord, we ask you, Lord, that you blood wash and cleanse us and that you strengthen us, Lord, with all power and with all might. And Lord, as we make this altar call, Lord, anybody that wants to get baptized in your name, hallelujah, will let us know and come forward. And Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you would strengthen every soul that is under the sound of our voice. Hallelujah, that you would keep your hand upon us. Hallelujah, that we realize that we need more of you, that you need to hear from us. And Lord, we ask you to manifest your grace, manifest your glory in the name of Jesus. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Tell your brother and sister, praise the Lord. Amen.